Hi there everybody, not Sportbat here. And today we're in Plankerton and we're gonna go over South Amp South here and we're gonna build this thing. So it should be about 250 structures. I believe 248 or something. And then uh, I don't know how many traps, I forget, I didn't count actually. So we're going to start a straight south of the amplifier on this big ramp here. And we'll start up top. Three uh, half floors. The set it. And then a plain floor. And another one. And then we'll have floors all the way out here. You can place a wall there if you want. And a ramp. And that's as far as we'll go. That's our path right here. And two walls in the corner. Huh. Let's build. And we can do this edit here. on each end then I had three more half floors here behind the first ones and one to this one to the side full four full walls there for now. So it's basically just like this. And we have three of those. It's a double corner edit. We'll have a floor here, and a floor there, with a cone on top, and we'll have a, oops, a corner here, cone, with two ramps beside it. eight uh, floor pieces, just two out and four wide. So I do believe we had one. Could have been two. There. That will be everything for up top here. Then we can go four tiles out. Nothing here though, above this corner, just here. So four, four, and four. And at the end here, we'll have two more. We'll have one underneath there. So yeah, that is, that's proper. And since we're up here, we need four more ramps across here. And four on top of them. That's everything up top. So we'll do a little bit of block off now. And cone facing the southwest, we'll have three. Three walls. 
Three cones. And three more walls. We have missed a wall down here. Sorry about that. So don't forget to put this wall here. This one. And also don't forget to uh, upgrade these edited floors. So this is just down here. Underneath that cone. You. And a cone, a ramp, oops, and a cone like that. Now we're going to have, before we put a wall there, we got to put a floor here. And a ramp to match that one. There's actually a wall there as well two of them. We'll do up top after. So now that we have that, we can put two walls here and three across and one more row of block off again. Like that. Three walls. We're going to put a wall here. And a cone, and a wall, and then another cone, <coughs> pardon me, and another one, and a ramp in the center, and three walls. And that will be all of our block off. We'll just have a look here. So that's what we have so far. Alright, we'll start with our tunnels here. So this part should be all good. So we'll come up top here, and around the corner, and up to here. We'll take full walls, and we'll place one there and one there. With a ceiling, we might as well place another ceiling. And then four floors, and two out here, like so. And then we need to come top of this ramp. Little building. Two walls there, and a ceiling. Actually, we'll do a different one. We'll do this edit. Let's place one there. That side. There we go. And we can place the floor. And we're going to have three window walls here. On the north side. could put three ceilings and two on this side and we will have windowed walls here as well and a full wall in the middle a full wall there and one there two short walls That should be everything for the top one here. Oh, this one was different. We'll edit this into a short wall. And a full wall behind it like that. Um, I don't really recommend this, but it, I don't know, maybe it's better to have a windowed wall, actually. That's better. Don't put a short wall 
with the wall launcher here because you'll just knock the husks completely over top of it and then that makes them want to maybe beat on that tile or take this wall out coming back through so yeah put a window to the wall and then behind those windows we need two walls here and we can place a wall here underneath and we can also place a short wall here as well and then three full walls to match those three windows and that should be everything for the upper tunnel Now we will go to the bottom here and start down here. So spawn is up there. And we'll start down here. So you can put a wall here and then a windowed wall here, but I'm not going to, but you can if you want to, and you can put a wall dart on it. So two walls high on the south side and then just one on here on the east one ceiling one floor could put an extra floor here if you wanted but this little wall here is kind of important um, I put one here like this so because the husks that did want to go walk through here were walking like this and basically cross this corner and then when you put this here they nicely funnel in through and actually walk where they're supposed to. So then we'll go one tile up and a windowed wall with a regular wall on each side and a ceiling. Then a short wall above and full walls on the sides. And you can place one down there as well. And a wall there. Yep. Then we come up here, place two walls, and a third one. And then we'll need three here, all with ceilings. And we can't place a wall, uh, floor here because they'll just break it. And then ceilings. And we can place one of these walls here. And then a wall here, and that short wall. Two full walls. And you can put two ceilings. And then we'll go with walls here. There'll be three. And a corner. And then we'll have a full wall here. We already have one there, so that should be good. Oh, no way. Sorry about that. And then two short walls there. This one we could actually put a window in. It's probably better to have it a short wall, but windowed wall is probably better. Then three floors and roofs as well. You could put a ceiling, or can we? could try putting a ceiling here for an electric field for there if you wanted but then you'd have to put a full wall here for block off so they don't come through 
because instead of them walking across and down, they might want to come just come down here and walk across. So they like to punch out floors. And I think lastly we have three walls here. And these should be windows actually. Like that. This one here we can edit into a short wall. And we can place a ceiling and a full wall. Like so. And I think that might actually be everything. Except for the app design, of course, which is three walls on the north side, three walls on the east, three walls on the south with a roof, a wall, and a lid. And then one random wall here. Which is the southwest corner. So we'll just go have a look here, make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh yes, we gotta do a little bit more here. So we have to come up here, where we ended with our uh, slants, and we will need one more and I think I may have just had it like that I don't think I had anything here but we can put a floor here as well and we can throw an electric field on it and it would be okay okay well I think that's everything shall we go do some trapping spawn and we'll start right up front here and traps we'll use we'll have 18 double crit wall darts with heals 12 double crit wall dynamos with heals we don't need that one uh, four reload uh, wall uh, broadsides, four double crit broadsides with heals, these ones just have durum, uh, nine double damage, double durability, crit rating, electric fields, you can use different ones if you want, if you need more durability, make sure you use some more, uh, seven crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability, electric fields, one double crit effect duration gas trap, and then a... Crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. We have 13 zappers, three uh, flame grill floor traps, crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, and effect duration. One three impact, two reload and durability floor launcher, and three all durability, two reload floor launchers. Three double reload sound walls with effect duration, and two single reload sound walls with effect duration and all durability for everything else. Seven all durability tar pits with heals. You can probably have heals on some of them. I don't know, you might not need it. Six crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload, heals, uh, wall dynamos. Five four impact, one reload, durability wall launchers, and three all durability, two reload wall launchers. And one crit, double crit. Uh, with heals wall spikes Just damaging wall spike of any kind the healing is what matters on this one And then four wooden floor spikes all durability with heals and no investment in the physical Probably don't need to use the blue ones I Use the healing on these for the ramps and floors, but these ones are generally the best for propane husks So anyways, we'll get started here and we're going to start with our all durability to reload wall launchers. 
and we will place three of them across here behind these edited floors and while we're out here we better do these first I guess so our nine ceiling electric fields that we have we'll place eight of them here like that across these eight tiles out front and there is one more up there and then we'll take two of our ceiling electric fields, the damaging ones and two up there and then we'll move down the tunnel here a little bit and take the wooden wall spike on this wall and then a double reload uh, a double reload sound wall there and a single there and then our all durability two reload floor launchers we'll have three of them and one three impact two reload and durability floor launcher here and then our wall launchers we have four impact one reload We'll have three of them here. That'll be pretty much everything up front. You could add more damage here. Just be careful you don't make the propane husks start blowing up around here. That's kind of why I laid off the damage close to the walls. Plus it is only one tile high. So they will damage the ceiling as well as the walls. Whereas if it's two tiles high, propane explosion won't damage your ceilings so and I didn't want to waste the resources just to make this two tiles high so I left the option to add extra damage here if needed <clears throat> but it is basically a recycler uh, with a damage in the back end so but we'll come to our last floor launcher wall launcher here and take a wooden floor spike and we will have three of them here in a row so three wooden floor spikes and a wall launcher on this side and then two of our reload speed or wait are they here hmm okay yeah here so two broadsides here both with uh, reload and one wall dart before we place this wall, I'm just going to edit through so I can place this wall dart out here. Back to a window. And I believe we're going to have these broadsides here. I may not have crafted enough, oops. Or I messed up my count. Whichever. So two broadsides there. These could be wall dynamos, actually. Probably would be better. Um, one ceiling electric field. And one flame grill floor trap. And some ceiling zappers on all the tunnel tiles here. Basically every tile except for the one above the ramp is a zapper. And then two tar pits. And two more flame traps. And I miscrafted, I see. Our double crit with heels uh, broadsides. Those four walls. And then our wall dynamos. The double crits, I think. Yeah, double crit. And we'll place them on that wall. In the back there, that wall there, and the two in the back of the rooms here. Yep, 
and a wall dart here. And I see I missed some wall lights. I missed a couple of traps, oops. So you can go with four impact, one reload. Two, re two? Oh, I gotta look again. Four impact, one reload effect duration. And there'll be one on this wall and one on this wall. And hopefully this still works to stagger the smashes in here. I'm hoping it's not too much CC. There was supposed to be a wall light here, but I'm not going to put it here because I don't want to contribute to too much CC. So, because it'd be one, two, three, partial, maybe four, five, yeah. Be close with the smashers by the time they get up here, so we'll see. That should be everything in this tunnel. And we can't forget our two wall darts back here. One there, and one there. Yes, and we have our two here. Three, sorry. And then we'll come down here and go to our lower portion of our tunnel down here. And we'll start with a double reload sound wall there and a double reload sound wall up here. And the single reload sound wall and last wooden floor spike. Then a uh, let's see here. Reload speed wall dynamos. We'll have two of them. And then one on this wall. One on this wall. And I believe one on that wall. And one on this wall. And that should be all of our reload speed dynamos. It's just to offset the reload on the dynamos when you have them all together. So we'll take our double crit dynamos now. And on these two short walls to the top of the ramp. And one across from this one. And one on this wall. One on that wall. And should be one there. And we can place two there. Nope, oh, I'm missing one, sorry. And another wall out here with reload. Or wall dynamo, sorry. Could have went with an option of maybe a wall light here instead. That should be okay. Alright, now the rest of our wall darts. And we have to come all the way down to the bottom. We're going to have a wall dart on this wall. For this windowed wall with the sound wall. And one up top here. And a wall there here. Two double crit broadsides. And two reload. Oh, that's where they were supposed to go. Hmm. Well, okay, you can put two broadsides here instead. I have two dynamos. It's up to you. Blue ceilings in a bit here. And then I believe we had a. Should have had a tar pit.
our last wall launcher and a flame trap and we'll do ceilings after here uh, Right, and then our wall darts have one out there, a ceiling electric field, and also one above this ramp, and one above that ramp. And we can place one there and our gas trap at the bottom. And then our ceiling zappers. Basically every roof tile. Like so. And we will have a wall dart here. And two wall darts out here and the last three out there so we gotta change something here there we go our two reload speed broadsides. We'll put them right at the top of the ramp here. Instead of the dynamos. And our last tar pits. Three of them here. Now you can place a dynamo in that wall if you want. So we have to make so some wall darts we I missed. This is just to add some extra damage in here. So we'll place a wall dart there and a wall dart here. And then we have a wall dynamo here. That's below the other tunnel. A wall dynamo here. That's where the two wall dynamos were supposed to go instead of over there that I smashed. What else? What do we have left here? One tire pit. Yeah, see, you could have put a wall light here and stuff, because that might have helped. Just stop the smasher here for a second. I don't think we're missing anything. Just make sure you have a floor there and a wall there. You could put a sound wall on that wall or this one whichever one you want behind or beside <clears throat> behind might be better but beside might also knock them off so that would be a good thing and you could add this to keep them to the side if you wanted i don't think i had one but because there is one up here so uh, wall darts. But I do believe that should cover everything. <clears throat> there are some spots you could add damage, but I think I added almost as much as I could. I think you could place a floor here, ceiling electric field or something, you know, or a zapper. Seems like I'm missing something. We'll just make sure I didn't miss.
miss any block off here. I got the edited floors. Yep. These ones, those ones. Oh, I didn't even miss my half floors. <laughs> Basically, I think that's it. I think we're done, actually. This here part right here, down in the bottom end, is actually new a little bit. I used to have just a wall launcher and a wall launcher on those two walls, and none of this. So it's just actually kind of a recycler. But considering we only have so many crowd control uses now, I turned it into a damage tunnel, so this should actually be a lot stronger than what it was. So. So also one other thing too might be advisable if you have durability issues with these traps here or smashers getting up there lots, you could switch it the other way around as well because we have two reload on the floor launchers and only one on the wall and you could switch them the other way and play with it and see what kind of durability you come up with. Depends. So because I don't know how much I never did the math to see how long each one would last, so, but that should be okay. It doesn't look like I missed anything, so... Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Throw me a like, throw me a subscribe, let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, yeah, have a good day.